guys how to level out tow mirrors, but before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this this can right here. Um, make sure we shake that up pretty good. So I picked up these six millimeter washers, washers right here. And I don't know if I need these or not, but I went ahead and picked them up anyway. Just, they're a little bit thicker and a little bit bigger, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go with these right here. So uh, there was a video of a guy uh, that posted a video not too long ago, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave his video link into my description. He's, uh, he's actually doing a really good job on his channel. He's pretty new to this whole scene, but uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description, but he used a uh, quarter inch, I believe it was quarter, yeah, it was, I think it was quarter inch spacers, nylon, nylon spacers. I did watch your video, you did a great job. So I'll go ahead and leave your, uh, your, your video in the link in the description below. So guys, check him out and subscribe to his channel as well. But I posted a video about a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, about how I did not like these tow mirrors the way they sit out. And ironically, I watched a few videos and you guys have commented on that same video and I really appreciate that for those of you that are watching this channel right now that actually commented on that last video when I did the, the new tow mirror style on my Duramax. You guys said go ahead and check out Mossman. Mossman did a really good job so I checked him out as well and that's where I got the idea for the six millimeter. So the way we're gonna do this is uh, you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and just so ever so gently pry up a little bit so you can actually pop this cover off right here. And then once you guys end up doing that, um, you're gonna have these bolts, these set bolts that are inside, and you're gonna go ahead and add washers to the top bolts because there's gonna be four bolts on each end. So one, two, three, four. So let me show you guys how to get to that right now. Okay, so these particular lights right here are, are, are knockoffs, they're not OEM. These are aftermarket, they're kind of cheap and expensive. They do not have the LEDs in them. I'm not gonna even go into that, that whole ball of wax there. I'm just gonna show you guys how to low, level these things out right now. So get yourself a flathead screwdriver of some sort. Um, and you're gonna have a clip here and then on the other side right here. So just go ahead and be very careful. Don't, don't dent that plastic. Just kind of get it in there. Like that. Just like that, okay? Okay, so there you go. Once you pull the cover off, you're gonna have these, uh, these bolts slash screws. This is gonna be a Phillips. So I'll be using a 10 millimeter ratchet right here. I like I, I like using ratchets on these things right here. A little bit easier. So I would say go ahead and just uh, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that up a little bit. Um, take these out completely, and then I'm gonna be sandwiching these washers right in between this bracket and right where my finger's at. Okay guys, so uh, loosened it quite a bit, that way I can get a little bit of an arch. Take my two washers now and jam her back there. This may take some steady hands. And then on the other side. Okay, I got them in there, now I just gotta line it up. Hopefully I don't drop any. Okay, so that was it. Not entirely too difficult. Let's look on this side and see what you think. You know, that is just those two little washers are, wow, that's amazing. It looks like it, it did the job. Just two washers, I figured I'd need three. No, that, uh, that leveled her out. So let's get let's get onto this one right here. But I use two washers on this side, hopefully, because uh, I, I I think that this side right here wasn't as angled. I know it makes zero sense because 
on each side of the body lines they're the same sort of curvature on each end you know like the same slant so I don't know why this one would be a little bit higher than the other one but and a lot of it guys has to do with these classic body styles with the way these door jams um, the way they kind of sort of can't in like that and that's what that's what's gonna pick this side up that's why it does that so because I know on the newer body style trucks they don't have that that can't or that sort of slope in like that with the door so all right so let's go ahead and get this one knocked out oh yeah I got to put that cover back on but pretty impressive that's not let me focus on this right here it's not too bad just two washers in there that's all I needed okay so let's go ahead and get this cover back on and it's, it simply just clips right on All right, so guys, I appreciate all the comments on the video, the previous video I did on the on these actual new to, new body style tow mirrors. I appreciate all the comments, I really do. And for some of you guys that actually made the videos on YouTube, I'll leave their links in the description, so make sure you click on those so you get a better perspective. But overall, guys, a very easy task. I added two washers um, on the top bolts on each, on each side of the tow mirrors themselves, and it seemed like they did the job. You let me know in the comments if you think they may be a little bit off, or if maybe I should add another washer to that side. Um, personally, I think they look fine. Uh, they see, they, it looks like they seem pretty straight for me anyways, but uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Okay guys, but other than that, more videos to come on the Duramax. I really appreciate your time. If this is your first time stopping into my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching.